is reality. Yeah, you don't want to hear that. Well, it's the truth. Your image is your reality. You know why? Because that is what establishes your reputation. And your reputation is what precedes you before you walk in the door. Before anybody ever sees you, your reputation as a member of that group precedes you. So your image matters more. Your image is the reality. And when you allow Bushika and Shantanika and the bastard baby makers and the whorehouse culture to become your image, it, that is what you are now. But wait a minute, not me. It doesn't matter. You are a member of the group. I'm not one of the people doing that, but you are a member of the group. And that will never change. So the group's reputation is your reputation. And that is why you must be uncompromising. You see, there's a reason why. Do you know who the biggest hunters of the mafia are? And actually always have been since the 1930s. Do you know the people who have been the biggest opponents and the biggest hunters of the mafia? Of the Italian mafia? Yeah. Gwen, do you know? No. Italians. The biggest mob buster was Rudolph Giuliani. Hmm. The biggest opponents of putting The Sopranos on HBO and on TV were the Italians. You didn't know that there was an Italian Congressional Caucus, did you? They were the biggest oh. opponents of The Sopranos being on TV. I remember on the news talking about this. This harkens back to a time when people used to say, you know, that the Italian part of town was a little Italy. Because we forget that the news used to be about another drive-by shooting in that Italian part of town. That was what the Italians were. If you got HBO, you should go watch Boardwalk Empire. At least it'll give you some idea of what it was like to be Italian, the reputation that they had. Gangs of America is another movie that gives you an idea of the reputation that Italians had. That they, under, they understood that because they, they were untouchables and unwanted as well. And they understood that our reputation and our image is never going to change so long as we got all these damn mafiosos. It will never change for us. So they became cops. They became congressmen. They became judges. They became, most importantly, prosecutors. So that they could clean up the streets. It was Rudy Giuliani who put the biggest mafiosos behind bars. Him and others. He was just the most well-known. It was Italians who went to work cleaning up the Italian community. They didn't wait for the feds. They didn't need the feds. They said, our image stinks. And even though this is not the majority of us, our image stinks. And you know, they're still trying to get John Gotti Jr. in jail to this day. To this day, they're still trying to get all of them. The children. The Bananos, the Lucchese's, they're still trying to get all of them in prison to this day. And guess what? You don't think of Italians as all being mafiosos. You know why? Because the Italians police themselves.